Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanna go ahead and shout out Daniel Thorne. Daniel Thorne sent me this crazy story. Once again, it's coming from our third favorite state, crazy ass California. So what's going down in crazy California, you ask? What's going down is that we have a young girl, her name is Nakisha James. And basically what happened is that she took to Facebook to state her side of the story as to why she stabbed her boyfriend, Dorian Powell. And basically the girl was saying that they got into a fight. He punched her in the eye. She never meant to, you know, to take his life, but that basically she stabbed this kid. You know, this whole situation is a hot damn mess. I, for the life of me, do not understand why people take to Facebook to announce everything. Go ahead and check out this news clip, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. You say the victim and his girlfriend lived together. Someone called 911 and reported a stabbing inside their apartment. When authorities arrived, the victim was dead on scene. His girlfriend, nowhere to be found. Tonight, she's considered a person of interest, and it appears she may have gone on Facebook to tell her side of the story. An alleged confession posted on social media. Hours after 21-year-old Dorian Powell was found stabbed to death in his apartment near Central Avenue in Highland, this post appeared on Facebook. It appears to be from the victim's former girlfriend. It says, quote, just going to tell you now before I get caught. Last night, my ex was drunk and was fighting me, hit me in the face. The post goes on to say, and I got the knife and stabbed him, but didn't think I would hurt him, but I did. He died, and I'm on the run. It continues, quote, but God knows I didn't mean to stab him. I was mad. He socked me in my eyes and just picked something up. But sorry, Lord, hopefully you forgive me, and sorry, Dorian Powell. RIP. The incident happened around 2 a.m. Monday, and now San Bernardino police are looking for the victim's girlfriend, identified as 18 year old Nakaja James. Police have not said what may have led up to the stabbing. They wouldn't comment on the post, but a law enforcement source tells me that is James' account. And in a news release, police say James is aware that they're looking for her. Detectives are still investigating, but at this point believe it was a domestic issue. They're urging James to turn herself in. Police say there were no known calls or related incidents at the couple's apartment in the past. In San Bernardino, Kimberly Chang, KTR. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip, and I think my favorite part of her Facebook message is when she goes, I went, I got a knife, I stabbed him, but I didn't know that I would hurt him. It's like, really, bitch? How the hell do you stab somebody and not realize that you're causing them pain or that you might hurt them or even what shocker you might kill them? You know, this is what happens when people have no emotional self control. You know, this whole situation is just insane. And the fact that this girl's on the run from the police, you know, if it was as innocent as she's making it seem to be, then she should have sat in that apartment and waited for the police to come and then claim self defense. I definitely feel like there's more to this story. I don't understand why she would run if this was a self defense case if she really had the bruises and the punch in the eye and everything else to show that he hit her first and that he was attacking her this case would be easily thrown out as self-defense the fact that she took the Facebook and then she ran and she's on the run from the law makes me give her the side eye that everything that she's saying may not be as factual as it is you know the whole situation is just really sad this girl's like 20 years old the young man is 21 years old you got two young people whose lives have both been changed because neither one of them had emotional self-control if we believe the story that she's telling. You know, so this whole situation is just really, really crazy. It's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. It's going to be even more interesting to see if she ends up getting caught. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy-ass situation that's once again coming from our third favorite state, crazy-ass California. Do you guys believe in Acacia's story? Do you feel like she was attacked by Dorian Powell and this was self-defense? Or do you feel like there's more to the story? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.